Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We've got some experimenting to do. Let's explore. Yes, indeed, that's right. We have a, a very interesting experiment. We are going to deface, perhaps maybe even destroy the silver, or maybe not. We'll find out. I learned something on one of my live streams from one Meteo man who has uh, experience working with uh, silver in a certain way. Um, and he tells me that silver, the metal... Uh, which I thought was uh, immune to any kind of corrosion or, you know, or breakdown of any sort. Um, but apparently it is not uh, because they say that salt will corrode silver. So we're going to do a little experiment with this silver eagle. You may have seen the video that I posted before about how I bought this silver eagle for $2 under spot. I tried at the time spot was at $27 an ounce. And I got this Silver Eagle for $25 from a private sale. And uh, sometimes things like that are, you have a little bit less appreciation for things that you pay a little less money for. So I thought I'm going to take advantage of, of that uh, low price to sacrifice this Eagle to the salt gods. Yes, indeed. Besides, it's got a pretty nasty milk spot on it, which I really didn't notice until I made my other video about it. In fact, I think the seller who sold it to me, uh, didn't know either, but you can see it when you hold it a certain way to light it. It's a pretty nasty milk spot there, which is actually somewhat unusual for silver coins from the United States Mint uh, bullion coins here. But we are going to take this coin here, and we're going to do an experiment. We are going to put it in salt, and uh, that's right. So we've got some salt here. We are going to Pour a little salt in here, that's right. So that's about, we're getting a little salty here on the Salivate Metal channel. Indeed we are, pouring it a little bit here. So there we go, okay. Enough to kind of uh, have a good base there so it doesn't really touch the coin there. Let me see if I can put a little bit more in there whole lot on there. All right, there we go. So we're going to put this thing right smack dab on the salt. Here we go. There's enough there that it's not going to touch the plastic. We're going to bury this thing in salt and uh, let it set for quite a some to say goodbye to the, um, the Silver Eagle. This will be the last time we see it in this form. There it is. Let's see if we can get a closer. Oops. Move it back to the center. And there it is. All right. Covering it up now. Apparently, what happens is, is direct contact of salt to silver will cause it to corrode over a period of time. Now, how much time will that take for that to occur? Well, I don't know. This video... Uh, the third part of this video series will come later. Um, I don't know how much longer it will take, but we'll find out in due course. And there it is. And uh, but we're going to cover this thing up. It may be six months. It might be a year or longer. I'm hoping it won't take longer than a year. I don't know how long this will take, but we're going to cover this thing up here. See what happens here. Let's see. Okay, covered up. Our Silver Eagle remains in this container. And so what I will do is I will put this up and forget about it for quite a amount of time. And uh, we'll come back to it and see if it indeed... Um, will corrode in any way, shape, or form. Um, people say that silver found in the deep sea ocean 
I've heard some people say that uh, that silver has been cleaned after being tarnished and it's completely fine. Others say it does tarnish. Others say it doesn't. We'll find out with this experiment what better way. And so, but I could come back in a year and this thing may have no damage at all or it might just have slight little pits in it. Uh, we'll find out one way or another. But we have done the most extreme exposure to salt that I can think of possibly. And that is to actually just cover it in salt and uh, see what happens there. Now, I don't know. I thought about adding a little bit of water to it and kind of mixing it up that way. But you know what I thought? Let's just leave it like it is and let the salt do its work um, and um, and kind of just let it happen um, as sort. But maybe in a in six months' time, if we uncover it and, um, and it and it's, uh, still hasn't done anything, we might add a solution of water in it to kind of maybe help um, solute the salt a little bit and kind of mix it up into a mush or what have you. We'll see. But there he is. There it is. This is an experiment. This is the last time I did an experiment like this was with uh, uh, with an, the acids of RC Cola with a dime. Uh, and you may remember that little series of videos I did on it, and it didn't do a thing. The acid in the in the in the cola, and RC Cola was known to have the most acidic of the sodas that are out there. Of course, that may have been a uh, rumor before this version of RC Cola, but uh, apparently it did not dissolve the dime or anything close to it. In fact, if anything, it just made it shinier. Uh, so, yeah. So we shall see. But there it is. Uh, one silver eagle, now entrenched in salt. Salt has been known to preserve other things like ham and bodies and the like, but we're gonna see what it does to silver. Maybe it will disappear. We'll find out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part three coming in many months from now, or maybe a year, maybe even two, we'll see. Like to extend an incredible amount of uh, multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and encourage you to please rate, share, and save your silver. Really quickly as an addendum to this video, I realized that just after I finished filming it, you will see little water droplets uh, on the water bottle here. That is from uh, me drinking this bottle of water before I cut it. I probably should have dried it completely, but uh, at the bottom there's very little water in this, and I'm going to keep it dry for that time, but that's what that is. That'll eventually evaporate. I doubt that's going to even get into the salt or have any effect on it, but I'm going to try to keep this dry. From uh, this point forward until at uh, such a time when we see the salt is not doing anything then we may add some water to it um, so there you have it all right got to have controls got to be very precise in our experimentation here for sure